Hello. To begin this section, we're going to start looking at a couple of special triangles. We use these special triangles because their angles are quite common and uh, the sides of the triangle have been calculated and we can uh, use them to evaluate uh, different trig ratios. So before we get too deep into it, let me just show you what these triangles are. Uh, the first one that we'll do over here is the 60 degree, 30 degree, 90. It's a right triangle. And the second one over here, let's make that red is a isosceles triangle. It's 45 degrees, 45 degrees. And the sides are one, one, root two, and root three, one, and two. It would probably be worth your while to memorize these or at least understand their orientation quite well. Um, we let's just write down the various ratios here as we go through. Well, let's do the sine of 30, cosine of 30. Let's do those and the tangent of 30. So remember, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of 30 is one half. Cosine of 30 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, root three over two. And tangent of 30 is the opposite over the adjacent, one over root three. Uh, let's do the sine of 60, cosine of 60, and tangent of 60. Tangent, or sorry, sine of 60 is the opposite, root 3 over the hypotenuse, 2. Cosine of 60 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 1 over 2, 1 half. And the tangent of 60 is the opposite, root 3 over the adjacent, which is just root 3. Often these are displayed in a chart. And you could put them in a chart if you wanted, but I usually just use the ratios and I, I use the acronym SOKOTOA to evaluate them in our later questions. Let's do the same for 45. Let's do the sine of 45, cosine of 45, and the tangent of 45. Sine of 45 is the opposite, 1 over root 2. Cosine of 45 is the adjacent, 1 over root 2. And the tangent of 45 is opposite, 1 over adjacent, 1, which is 1. That's kind of neat how the sine and cosine of that same angle are, are exactly alike. If you, if you, I know you haven't seen it before, but that means that those graphs are intersecting at the same point. So we got two special triangles. It's worth it to really be familiar with these triangles and know how to use them and their orientation. And we'll use those in the next lesson to help, uh, help you uh, um, evaluate some trig ratios using exact values.